Seventy dollars for four and a half grams. What the? F <laughs> That's on sale. Holy shit, you guys. Huge L from used cannabis. I feel dirty having gone in there. Let's go somewhere nicer. Hey, we got it. Falafel shawarma wrap. Six bucks too, pretty damn good deal. This wrap was cheaper than the hot dogs they wanted. We got a little tram coming by. Now we got a regular bus coming right behind it. I wonder what the difference between the tram and that regular bus are. I don't know, but I'm gonna go find a nice little corner to eat this falafel. And don't worry, I'm still on the way to go to that next weed store. I just, I mean, munchies, right? Hey, 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 hey. All right, let's hang out here right next to the beach and eat our shawarma sandwich. So we are done eating, and we're back on the search for cannabis. I know we're close. I know they're around here, you know? Because I smell the cannabis. Now, I might just smell myself, it's possible. But we're out here, middle of downtown Vancouver, no shirt, big doink, big sud. Come on, guys. I mean, I don't know what else I could ask for. I mean, maybe a girl. But then if I had a girl, she'd be smoking on my weed, right? I need a girl that has her own weed. That's what I need, right? That's what we're looking for. Drop down in the comments if you're a girl and you got your own weed to bring to the party. We're next to Nordstrom's and Cafe Crepe and all these fancy stores that I have no desire to go into. So we won't. I don't think they'd let me in there without a shirt anyway. Without a shirt reeking of weed. I don't think they'd let me in. So let's look for the weed source. Because they're going to let us in reeking of weed for sure, for sure. That's not for weed, guys. That's not for weed. That right there is a freaking crack pipe pretty intense. I've never seen one from up close and a used one like that. I'm not gonna touch it. It's got like a little bit of broken on the end here, but that's what people used to smoke crack. There we have it guys. We found it. We found the next door. So we're gonna figure out we're open. Come on in. We will do just that. Now, just like everywhere else, we're keeping the camera on ourselves. <laughs> Hello. Hey, how you guys doing? Good, good. Oh, you guys have little jars. Yeah. Can we open them? Oh, uh, there we can open them. We can't. I know, sorry. Hey, I'll take it. At least we can see something. I appreciate that. No problem. Did you francophone? Mm -hmm. Are you French? No? No, I'm from Mexico. Ah, uh, Mexico. Yeah. Hey, Is it you? this your first time here? Or? Yeah, I'm from Quebec. Uh, Hello, welcome. Look at that, we got the jars that you could actually see through the first store we've been to. Do you wanna see the tube show? The tube the show? Tube show. Ooh, if I you stand right here, oh, pointing oh, right yeah. to the roof of your feet, you're gonna oh, see yeah. something really cool to do. Interesting. Ready? Okay. Hi, Let's... FPL. Can I get a TV show? Please? We got something happening here, team. We got some tubes in the sky. Oh. Hey. <laughs> what? That's... That's how you get the stuff from downstairs to up here, I guess? Yep. Your <laughs> storage is on the back. Damn. So it's kind of hard to walk back and forth. So we send it through the tubes. That's very nice to have. Uh, we also, if you don't want to like walk and watch all the cards, we also got our handy-dandy. Okay, you got a touch screen there. Yeah. We also got the type and the quantity that you want. 
You, can you go by brand or you could yeah. only go, yeah? Our brands are going to be on the side right here. Sweet. Our product, the name is going to be on the middle. We've got and the type right here. Size. That's why it goes all the way to the side where there's the price. There's no, t there's no terpene percentage uh, Not on the yet. list? Not We're planning on adding that more in the future when it gets a little bit more, you know, requested. Cool. Cool. We, we got more people being like, do you got anything with high with terpene? And we're like, there you go. That's yeah. what I like to hear. That's what I like to <laughs> so hear. We're planning on adding it. In the near future. Nice. So people yeah. are asking the right questions. Yeah, we like exactly. to hear that. So this is the cake and caviar waffle bites. We didn't grab this one. We grabbed the blueberry yum yum, I believe. So let's keep walking around here. As you could see, very nicely set up. You see a it's it's got like a magnifying glass in front. So like that's the size of the nug. And then, but it's super magnified, maybe a five, ten times magnified there. We got some lemon Z, sage and sour, Jack Hayes, freshly baked, tally man, nitro cookies, mint chocolate, secret garden, cookies and cream, jealousy. Ooh, we got the East Coast Lot 420. Look at that. Off menu. It's called ICC. I don't know why they call it off menu but it's an ice cream cake cut. So very cool to see East Coast flower out on the West Coast. We got that pink kush. We got some BC organic. Pretty much everything you see on the East Coast. All those bags that people are trying to give away on the East Coast, everybody says BC organic, LSO, small batch. This one right here, Romulan. We got some Romulan from 1964 that I'm very excited to check out. But that's enough walking around. I'm gonna do a little shopping, see if we can buy anything here. There is no way to justify this, guys. <laughs> Cookies, look at that. We tried this a few days ago. Three and a half, I thought it was 24 bucks. I was like, that's decent, let's do it. But nah, they want 80 bucks, they want 80 bucks plus tax. Come on, man. Yo, you gotta get your stuff together, man. Look, cookies, <laughs> cookies. I smoked it. It's not worth that. <laughs> Come on, guys. We spent quite a while in there because they have so many options. <laughs> I just had to. I had to. Thanks so much, eh? Take care. Very, very nice people. Significantly nicer than the people at Muse. I could definitely recommend this city cannabis spot. Not gonna lie very expensive but like so is everywhere right we're, we're, we're in Vancouver right now nothing is cheap in Vancouver but the store is nice the people are nice the vibe is nice definite spot to check out especially after going to Muse you know I like being able to talk to some nice people just kind of shoot the shit you know and not kind of be lied to and misinformed and looked down on you know so shout out to these people damn I did not expect to see that I was looking for the weed store I found a freaking mush shop they got mushrooms in here they got six different kinds of mushrooms uh, I don't remember the names but like they're there, they have them. I've never seen so many options, that's so cool. I've always just seen like big old bag of mushrooms. You get what you get, you got what you got and you take it or you don't. But like they got a freaking store of mushrooms. That's freaking cool guys. But like, yeah, I kind of got turned around a little bit while walking in there and I'm not sure where I'm going anymore. So I'm gonna go back to the cell phone so we don't get too lost and end up in a bad area. Found the next door, guys. Right off in the distance, we could see cannabis. C-A-N-N-A-D-R-S. Boom. That's what we're looking for, guys. We found it. Let me finish this joint real quick. And we gonna head on in to the next weed store and see what they got for us. I don't even know if there's anything else we need, to be honest. Uh, I'm 
mean, we got a lot of stuff. We got the, I don't even know what we got actually. Let's go check real quick what we have before we buy more stuff. Cause I mean, I'm, I'm starting to lose track here. We're buying a lot of random pre-rolls and grams and I think what we're looking for now is simply bear. Cause you see, we got a bunch of stuff here. Pistols in Paris, cake and caviar, black market, some shatter infused pre-rolls. There we have it guys. The next store we're going into called Cantina. Middle of downtown Vancouver. I guess maybe a little bit on the edge, but let's go check it out and see what they got. Cheers. Always finish the doink, take off the glasses. Hey, how you doing? I'm just recording myself, that's okay? Yes. Make sure not to get you guys. Thanks. Very nice store. We got the big old buds. That's a Trailer Park Boys cannabis right there. Nice coloring, I'm surprised. Look at that. Very bright colors. Very nice flavors. Very interesting. All the different options. We got Flower Quest. Organic. But we're looking for Simply Bear. Simply Bear. Black Market, Pistols in Paris, Lot 420, Ghost Drops, uh, Cake and Caviar. We got quite a few to keep an eye out for. So let's see what they got. God damn. Dude saw me recording. He knew what I wanted to see. Shit. That car rips, guys. I just uh, left that store. They had a lot of stuff, but man, I'm having a hard time spending that kind of money on a freaking $30 for a gram and a half. About to walk on to a new store here somewhere called Dunn, I believe. Or Dutch, yeah, Dutch Love. And I was told by many people that they're owned by a big alcohol company, a bunch of suits. So we definitely won't be buying anything here. Definitely won't be giving any of our business here, but we still got to check it out, right? So let's do just that. You've arrived. Eh? Even the cell phone knows. Ooh, got AC going on in here. So just like everywhere else, we're gonna make sure not to get anyone else on camera because that's just respectful, right? But it's dark in here, it's cool in here. Got some nice grinders, nice setup. Okay, well, just like I promised, we went in there because we had to, right? We're here, we gotta go to every single weed shop but i can't spend money at a store like that and feel good about myself you know weed is supposed to be happy and joyful and you know i can't i can't do it i can't give money to a big corporation like that knowing that it's owned by an alcohol company just a bunch of suits a bunch of chads doesn't make me feel good so we're not spending any money there. We're gonna go and head off to the next weed store because I'm sure there's something else we can buy. I still haven't grabbed the Simply Bear. I'm still looking out, hoping I could find a better deal than $30 for a gram and a half. Wish me luck, guys. The next store we're looking for is called Choom. Choom, Choom. C-H-O-O-M. Oh, that breeze is nice. It is hot out today, but the breeze is gonna mess with my ability to light this doink. So let me kind of oh, sit down. There 
There you go. And we're off. Mm. Got it. Somehow, found myself on the wrong side of the street though. So we're gonna have to break the rules a little bit. Nice and safely. Ooh, tandem bike. Nice. So now that they went past, across here, because we are going right there. Zoom cannabis. So let's go do it. No one on the street. We can cross safely. And let's go check out Choom. Now, of course, it's okay, puppy. It's okay, puppy. Very protective out here. So, like I was saying, even though they sell cannabis in here, can't be smoking it in there, right? Can't be smoking it in there. So, we're just gonna butch right out here. There you go. Join us out. Weed store is on. So we're gonna be very careful to make sure we don't get anyone. All we get is myself and products. You can see all those beautiful colors. That's all edibles right there. Bunch of drinks. All right, we've got a nice setup of drinks. And then if we squeeze around the corner here, there's even more. So we'll go on this side here. And as you can see right there, bunch of pre-rolls. Got some more gummies and drinks. Right here, even more flour, a bunch of pre-rolls. So really, anything you could need, guys. Not 100% sure, but fingers crossed, I think we found it, guys. Right here, we got the Simply Bear White Runs, three half grams for $30. $30! Come. I mean, I didn't want to do it. You saw, I kept seeing it at different stores and I was hoping I'd find it at a cheaper price, but it doesn't look like it's going to get cheaper than that, guys. I think we're going to have to do it. I hope it's worth it. 30 bucks for a gram and a half. Christ, guys. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We got it, guys. We found it. Organic white runt. But it's $28. Right? This guy's 28 Thankfully, we got this one right here at 22 And then the other one at 22 Which is Blue Dream and... Oh, do do organic lime mojito. So we're gonna grab those two and cross our fingers about the white runs because I'm not ready to spend 30 bucks, guys. Let's do it. Okay, guys. So I got lucky there. I wanted to walk away from the store a little bit just to make sure he doesn't run out and realize the mistake he made. But I'm gonna show you right now. I was looking to get the uh, white runs, right, for 30 bucks, but I couldn't, I couldn't spend that much, but they had the other two that they could price match with another store. So I decided, okay, the, the other store was selling them for 22, a store that's far away that I didn't want to walk to, so they were selling it at 22, so I was like, beautiful. I'll squash the right ones, white runs, and I'll get the blue dream and I'll get the mojito. For 
for 22 it's like six seven bucks cheaper still expensive don't get me wrong but like i appreciate the discount so it's like beautiful give me the two discounted ones and i won't get the white runs that's fine we got two instead of one beautiful i walk out of there and as you can see dude charged me for the organic lime mojito and blue dream you see right there it's 22.99 so total of 51 freaking crazy expensive but when i looked at what i had right here i got the blue dream not crazy excited about that to be honest i just got it because everybody's saying it's good blue dream and i've never heard of good blue dream so we might as well try it but then i looked at the second one second one's white runs we got it he gave it to us he made a mistake accidentally gave us white runs instead of mojito so now i got the 22 i got the 28 dollar the 30 dollar joint for 22 bucks but now i don't have the mojito so i'm gonna kind of eat a little bar here smoke a doink and then go back and buy the mojito and hopefully it works out Ugh. it definitely feels sketchy but like I don't know, we gonna do it anyway, cause this shit is expensive. Wish me luck. It worked. We got it. Now we got all three of them. Mojito, Blue Dream, and the White Runt. All for $22.99. Still $70. For four and a half grams what the fuck <laughs> that's on sale oh my god I, can't, I don't even want to say it out loud like that's aggressive guys but uh, I, I saw a dude out front who just asked me for a lighter you know so I sent him the lighter and uh, he started talking about uh, he, he he makes hash and uh, he, he dropped her a Remo's name Apparently he's had his stuff uh, reviewed by Remo, so I'm gonna have to check that out for sure because huge shout out to Urban Remo, he's a beast. Um, but yeah, uh, but then he started going off and a little bit extra, you know, like at first he seemed legit. He seemed like he knew what he was talking about, but then he started kind of rambling on and, and clearly you could kind of tell that he was talking a little bit out of his butt, you know, like just trying to show off a little bit. Which is fine, that's cool, it's all love here. But I gave him one of my cards and uh, we'll see. Maybe he'll reach out and we'll do business together. <laughs> I don't know. Gonna head to one more store before we go home or before we go to the Airbnb. Just cause it's kinda sorta on the way. And I don't wanna have to head back this way tomorrow just to go to that one spot. Okay, here it is guys. Yale Town Cannabis Store. That's the last store we're going to be going through today. I've walked way too much already. Smoked way too many doinks. I've even kind of lost track, kind of, of what place we've gone to and where we haven't. So I'm going to have, I'm going to, have to go through them and like check them off and stuff. But we did it. Walked all around Vancouver, didn't get in trouble. Ate an awesome falafel, got some crazy weed. Got some beautiful sun. So we'll go to this last store here, see what they got. And then we'll go see what we're gonna eat for supper. Ooh, no cash accepted. Cards only, that's an interesting one. No cash only cards. Okay. Hey. So, we got a nice little list. I'll give you a shot without getting anyone on camera. There we have it. So I believe we have. Sorry to interrupt. The only thing we do, if you feel. Not it's get okay. you guys. Yes. No problem at all. I got it. Animal sorbet, Leanne, pineapple, bachelor jealous. So the jealousy is the only one we didn't get, but I don't think we're gonna grab it. Gage tweed, Highland. DC Black, a few people have told me about. Loud Plug, I really want to try, but it's it's blunts, I believe. Ooh, cake and caviar. 
Okay, so we have a few things to look at here. We gotta go home, guys. I gotta stop going to these weed stores, man. I just keep finding shit and buying shit. We got a gram blunt rolled in like a chamomile leaf or something. I, I, if it was just a regular blunt, I wouldn't have gotten it. I don't want hemp paper. I don't want tobacco. I don't want none of that. But they said it was freaking chamomile and such nice people in here. Huge shout out to Yale Town Cannabis Store. So far, every single store I've been to has been awesome, except for two of them. That Dutch Love Spot and Muse. Do not go to Dutch Love or Muse. Any of these other spots though, including Yale Town, huge shout out to them. Great people, great prices, awesome vibes. Let's get the fuck out of here before we spend more money. Okay, well, I know I said I was headed home, and I am. I got pizza waiting for me. We ordered the pizza and it's headed there. But I'm on the West Coast, guys. I had to try some sushi. Um, I didn't get a lot. I'm not getting a full meal here. I'm just getting one little piece of tuna. Beautiful. Thank you, you so want much. More water, water or uh, yeah, if I can get just a glass of water, that'd be great. Yeah. Thank you so much. Look at that, guys. This bad boy right here is gonna be the tuna. This one right here is gonna be the salmon. We got some wasabi. We got some ginger. Got my little soy sauce right here. Thanks so much. There you go. So this right here, those two little pieces cost me $5. So let's see right now what West Coast Sushi is all about. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with the tuna. I've had salmon that look pretty similar to this. I'm gonna start with the tuna. So I'm just gonna take a little dab of this wasabi. Here, I'll show you what I do. I take a dab of the wasabi and I put it under, right like that, and then just cover it up. And then I dip that. This is what I dip. Fish side down into the soy sauce. Now let's check it out. Wow. That's nice stuff, guys. First thing I notice is this is definitely full sauce, full, full salt soy sauce. We do not have that at home. Mm. Yep. Damn. See, your cell phone doesn't like that I stopped. It knows that I have supper on the way. Geez, shut up, cell phone. We got one last piece to eat here. Doing the exact same thing. Putting that little guy under, covering that, and then dip that beautiful long tail. And let's see how the salmon is. Very nice, guys. Very nice. Definitely better than the all you can eat sushi I get at home. Mm. Really good stuff, guys. All right, so maybe we're gonna have to try out some more sushi spots. Cause this is good. But for now, let's go grab that pizza.